Oh, okay, thank you for having me. So today I will share an interesting project to all of you. Um, a quick introduction to provable, so-called provable rare gems. Um, that project is developed by Alpha Finance, uh, which is who is uh, uh, well, you know, the team is well known for uh, Ethereum ecosystem. Okay, uh, so uh, the game of loot now so is crazy uh, recently. So it's called the latest proof of the compatibility of the NFT metaverse. So the the tokens are very expensive here. Um, so the ecosystem of loot kind of uh, spread like a wildfire. Um, many teams are racing for build different tools or you know <clears throat> representation web pages or uh, something else. Um, all the people are trying to make a uh, open, you know. Uh, open open games on Ethereum kind of uh, um, unbelievable. So there's kind of a problem that so when we're talking about the fairness of distributing these tokens, so we all know that if someone wants to get a loot, so either either way you can buy a token from uh, OpenSea, or you can uh, manually call uh, the mint, the function, uh, directly uh, through the smart contract. Um, so you don't have to pay any extra fee. So you just pay the gas fee. So it's OK. So, uh, so NFT tokens, uh, we all know that they are ERC uh, 72011 uh, tokens. So every token are unique, right? But however, so the minting cost actually are the same. So, so each project, every project, when they was launched, launched, so everybody you know, rushes for the meeting. So that leads, will lead to a game racing often. So there's another problem that the rarity of every empty token actually is predictable. So that means if you, um, yeah, you can go in through the source code of contract. You can know, so, okay, this one is rare. So uh, you will know the ID of that token. So you can write your script, you know, front run anybody else. So to get the rare token, so you can, we will sell it with a high price on OpenSea. So the kind of, uh, it's not fair, you know, it's not fair for users or for us, right? For for us, so, uh, who not able to using you know able to use script okay. Um, so the smart part of uh, the gems the project kind of they are using POW the proof of work is a kind of a mechanism um, borrowing from Bitcoin, so kind of proof of work that means you have to mine each of the NFT token. So you have to uh, calculus, use your uh, laptop or, or some mining machine even to calculate a hash, a hash. If the hash satisfies some uh, difficult condition, they will, you, will, you, can, you can claim that token. So here's the, the so this, this, why we call it a smart idea? So because proof of work kind of, uh, it's kind of proof, you can kind of prove. The proof also is a proof of rarity. So because, because many, uh, so let's imagine that many people are one, you know, kind of jam, it's an NFT talk, so many people. So you have to mind, the difficulty will rise up exponentially. So if more people want that NFT token, then NFT token will be harder to get. Okay. Uh, so here the uh, the hard the the, the 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 critical part of the contract code. So we can we can see the mine function. The mine function 
Now we can see there are two uh, parameters there. So the first one is kind. It's kind of a, it's a it's a index of uh, which kind of uh, gems or or, or, or atoms. Uh, it takes the, the type of uh, the kind of uh, the, the token. The second, the second parameter is kind of a sort. So user have to roll a sort. Then you sort, you can get a hash. Get a hash, you will, you will, you have to write a row a, a random good sort to get a, a hash, a correct hash. Then you can claim the uh, the empty token. So. So proof of work kind of uh, is a fair distribution uh, system. So we can uh, uh, access the UI or the web page. So we can see there are there are already twenty different gems over there. So we can see the ten here. So these gems are designed for loot holders. So every loot holder can guide four um, gems here um, randomly. But if, if for me, I don't have, I don't have any loot FT token, so but I can mine a gem F token by myself using my laptop to can calculate a hash. Okay. So the problem here is uh, you can see the supply Actually, each of these gems, the uh, it doesn't have any limits of the total supply, so you have to mine. If more people want more gems, you will have more gems, but you have to pay a lot of you know commutation sources put it, a lot of commutation sources into it. Um, so let's say the difficulty number, the value of the most valuable the gem, the scarlet bloodstone. So kind of very difficult to mine today. So the projects have been already launching for just one day. And um, some people, they already use the Ethereum money machine to, uh, to mine the gems. So I suppose, so suppose the, the gem will be expensive on, on OpenSea. Um, so I review the code. Uh, here's the URL of the code. I already can see it. Uh, the code is not a ERC721 uh, uh, token. Actually, they are ERC1155 token. <clears throat> so the smart contract is upgradable, but with good qualities. Actually, the first version of the code had a bug. Um, quick development just in the in, in last weekend. So the first version was committed just two days ago, but it, now uh, it, it's going to the third version. I hopefully they will have uh, the first, fourth version tomorrow. Actually, uh, the gems is not just the gems. Actually, you can see, um, we can treat it as the open platform for any mentor versus. Uh, it means that anyone can create your own gems or accessories or armors or anything else in online games uh, using their platform easily. So you can design the difficulty curve uh, for your gem or your accessories. So uh, today we see the developers, they uh, announced uh, something on their Twitter that the gems can be ERC20 writable. So that means we can trade these gems um, on the DeFi applications, uh, something like Uniswap, Uswiss, or something like that. So I, I think that loot the gems uh, with the loot ecosystem, the, these projects are uh, fascinating. So we will see many, many more ways of comp compositions uh, in the future. So uh, that's kind of interesting and exciting. Okay. Uh, okay. Any question? <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Uh, actually, I have a question because I'm a loot owner. And okay. uh, <laughs> you yeah, can claim just... four gems. 
there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I should I should claim my gems.、Uh, I don't know this before because I think right now it's in a mess.、Uh, the loot loot、uh, you know community actually in a mess,、uh, and we are also actually right now、uh, just today establish a a proposal in the adventure gold. Uh, uh, Adventure Gold the community says that we should actually、um, do an inflation、uh, for Adventure Gold for、uh, you know the new minted M loot owners.、Mm -hmm. And、uh, my question is that there's a lot of controversial controversy actually on the subject of loot ecosystem,、mm -hmm. and you see a lot of a lot of copycats coming out. Mm -hmm. X loot, X X loot, X X X loot, P、yeah. loot, M loot, everything. So, and they are on the same page, on the same level of the loot ecosystem. But I, I haven't seen so many developers or projects actually works under or inside the whole metaverse of loot ecosystem. So, what is the Problem here. What is this thing that actually happens here? And do you think it's gonna be a long, like, lasting project, or is just another heat in the market?、Um, just you know, anybody, everybody wants to buy a loot, but do nothing else. Just then,、mm -hmm. you know, you know, rather than just you know holding it and waiting for to claim, wait to claim some some other you know rubbish NFTs in the loot ecosystem. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and keep positively, I think the loot project kind of uh, uh, being inspiring.、Um, so let's say loot project kind of、uh, created something that without any interpretation. So it's just a small spare part in the whole machine or in the whole universe.、Um, kind of.、Uh, It's kind of it's like a very small smart contract in the beginning of、uh, Ethereum even you know so we know the ERC twenty is created in two thousand seventeen or sorry two thousand sixteen so small contract is small you know very small just a piece of code lines of code more than、uh, less than twenty lines of code but、uh, gradually there 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 are more and more smart contract coming out. And then,、uh, you know, two years later, these smart contracts are linked with each other. So I personally, I, I see the gems kind of a very small smart contract.、Uh, differently, smart contract on Ethereum, and the gems just say in the unknown metaverse. So I, you know, pos positively, I think it's a very good、um, game. So we don't know where which direction we will go,、uh, but I don't care. So I'm waiting for the moment that their loot projects or the any projects in loot ecosystem they will begin to link with each other, and the people will fight with each other, arguing with each other, or collaborate with each other. Maybe, but I don't know. <laughs>、uh, maybe recently or in the In the near future or two or three years, they just、uh, proved a, a hype. Yeah, maybe, but I don't think it's a bad thing. I think yeah, in the history of Ethereum evolution, we can see the up and down of the wave, right? So I think that yeah, it's a kind of a very small contract, less than twenty lines of code, three four years ago. What is uh, um, so lively and uh, prosp prosperously <laughs> in the future?、Yeah. So I think so. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. And、um, another thing actually bothers me is that so we all know loot is a kind of abstraction on a very abstract level of all the NFTs or let's say the programmable NFTs, right? So、uh, somebody、uh, already compared loot to Ethereum. Uh, in the NFT space,、uh, so, so, what kind of or what level of abstraction that we actually need? So, for example, we see the project called N, right? It's just several, you know, random numbers,、mm -hmm. and、uh, right now、mm -hmm. it's already created a、yeah. heat in the market, and、yeah. I think it's a more 
I would say on another level, even higher level than loot, because loot are also uh, they they just describe the kind of background information. So it's like yeah. in the ancient times with magic, like people can use like several like they have a storyline, right? But yeah. for in and they don't have a kind of a storyline. It's just you know random numbers. And yeah. also, I'm thinking up down. Uh, uh, you know, you, if you're going still upward. Uh, to a higher, more higher level that uh, of abstraction mm -hmm. um, uh, than than in, you will get only a black page or yeah. only a blank, let's say blank smart contract, yeah. right? So yeah. in some artists are still do, uh, are already doing this. So let's Puck. Puck just released a a project called Lost um, Point, and mm -hmm. all he sells is just blank pages yeah. with nothing else. So what's on earth so what the hell is everybody's doing so what kind of abstraction we need in the market so if say let's say i will create a project called so let's say 7x or, or or eraser it's only just a blank you know blank smart okay. contract. anybody can use this blank <laughs> smart contract right it's a, it's a full level of 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 uh, abstraction here so how do you think of this okay. yeah that's actually bothers me because i cannot see the value inside of it <laughs> Okay. I have yeah. a very basic question. Sorry to the. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm I'm, I'm quite far away from this whole uh, NFT gaming stuff mm -hmm. in a way, and uh, for me, it remembers me a little bit on on, on uh, Wi-Fi craze. Yeah, and I think. I have the feeling that something will come out of this, but I don't know how it will develop. You know, nobody knows. But the basic question is, I don't know. So this 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 gem, this gem uh, project, this is like independent. So somebody made like an addition to loot, and loot loot holders can claim claim it for free, and others have to mine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Exactly. So it's just like uh, it has nothing to do. It's like an independent project, which which they think they would be nice to have in this universe of, of play playground somehow. Uh, I think uh, at the very beginning they want they just wanted to to develop a, a loot project related project. Uh, yes. But then after two days, they decided to. Um, so they, they 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 got more ideas. So they yeah. now they're trying to they abstracted make... it somehow. They they just yeah. yeah because it's it's not only usable for loot. It could be used in any um game somehow. Yeah, any game, any uh, metaverse. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But now, if you are a loot holder, you you get some for free, or you don't have to mine them yourself. Uh you just pay the gas fees to me. Okay, if you are, if you own a loot. Yeah, you you can get it for for free. Ah, okay, okay. So it's like an airdrop for loot. Yeah. Holders. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I got it. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, I think it's a whole <laughs> universe opening up, and I, I like yeah. this. I like the 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 di dynamic it has. You know, in a way, it's just ex exploding. Something is exploding, and then everyone yeah. is rushing in and trying something out. And of course, I'm I. I I'm not close to the community, but it looks like that um, Eraser is. And of okay. course, it's a mess, you know, at the beginning, because everyone has like their own agenda and idea. And then, yeah, but I guess it will settle down at some point. <laughs> yeah. So I think personally, um, we, we, we shouldn't go too extreme. So that the absolute abstract kind of a blank picture or something like that. So I think I think the the feature, the key feature of uh, loot kind of uh, is implies something pointing to gamify. Kind yeah. of because, because yeah you can see the words kind of uh, just you know equipment of the of the games. So so it's better people to think about the link you know the NFT with the gamify, but we don't know how they interpret that in the future. So, yes. but for end project that I mentioned by uh, Eraser, that kind of, I think it's a too abstract. <laughs> so too abstract. 
Yeah, but this is just an over. I, I guess it's just that the, the bubble, you know, the bubble is doing this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's just the, the crazy of the bubble. Then everyone is, yeah, at okay. the end, people but, buy like yeah. really stupid thing from each other. This is just normal, you know. So, so and I then, don't know. Yeah, it will crash and then it will. I don't know what start the again, people guys will do uh, in the following. I mean, the people from the end project team. So, which direction they should. You know, tell us so which direction they will go. So we don't know so far. Yes. So, but I think for loot project, kind of uh, the idea is more is is clearer. And uh, I, I I will say I think we will see some something emerge emerge will because, emerge yeah somewhere. Because you know what I did see with Wi Wi Fi was like that. Yeah, there are many copies of them, but one of them will be able to absorb all the people who are really long-term interested into this. And they, mm -hmm. some of them, they stay, I guess. Yeah. You know, most of them, they, they now don't have any copycats and they just disappear again. Yeah. But the other people who have a long-term interest and who are like, yeah, who are willing to work on this and have the imagination to, to bring it forward, some yeah. of them will stay, yes, I guess. Yes. So that's and why then, I love the crypto world. I yeah. love, love the free market. And everybody it's are mostly equal so, to, you know. To come yeah. to. <laughs> mostly that if if it's if it has like to start like this, then some of the people will just stay for this and maybe do this the next 10 years of their life. Yeah. And yeah. Will, something will come out of it. I guess. Yeah, yeah. I definitely hope yeah. the ecosystem grows because you know <laughs> we are we are loot holders and uh, we are like I'm not. <laughs> we're adventure uh, adventure gold holders. And uh, please, if anybody is listening to this, if you have adventure gold tokens in your pocket, please vote for our proposal on the, <laughs> on the uh, adventure gold. You know, uh, community. Uh, we are voting for. We we had a proposal for you know inflation and uh, a UBI. To actually every M loot uh, purchaser and M loot uh, okay. holders, yeah. Cool. All right, okay. so okay, so here comes. Thanks so much, Guo Yu, and. Uh...